Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to customize the font in the scrolling marquee content block. That's a new type of content block where you can type text into Squarespace and it will automatically animate it to scroll across the page. Now I have a training video that'll teach you about all of the details of this content block listed in the description below, but let's assume you're already familiar with it. How do we change the font family and the color? That's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to use on my demo site here are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into that demo site so I can show you how to set this up. So here we are in my demo site and you'll see I've got a scrolling marquee block right here. And if we hop into edit mode, I wanna show you the design settings that are already built right in. If we double click on this, and then select design, you'll see we can change the text style so it either matches the heading or the paragraph text on our website. We can also change the size. If you wanna change the size of that text, I definitely recommend using this built-in option right here, small, medium, or large, or click on those little three dots and use the slider to adjust it manually. Definitely use this to change the size. But to change the font family and the color to something that doesn't match heading or paragraph, we're gonna use a little bit of custom CSS to make that magic happen. I'm gonna go ahead and select save. And you'll see down here, I've got the code that we're gonna use. This is listed in the description beneath the video, but let's go ahead and navigate to design and custom CSS. This is where we're gonna paste the code. If you already have code here, don't worry, just enter a new line and paste this code and you'll see Ta-da, the scrolling marquee updated automatically. We changed the font family to a serif font, but you can use any font that's installed on your site. I just used a web safe font that I know, which is serif, so it looks different. But again, any font family you have installed on your site, you can add that there. And then for the color, I just typed in the word red, but you could use a hex color code if you wanted to. There we go, changes it to that teal color that I like. Totally up to you. The important thing to know about this code is that we've said marquee, which is the selector for that scrolling marquee, and then we added an asterisk. That's kind of a catch all for text. So if you have it set to the heading font style or paragraph, it doesn't matter. This code will work no matter what you have set up on that design tab. Now, if you have more than one marquee and you only want this to apply to a very specific one, you can use its block ID. Now this is a Chrome extension that I use for free. I'm not affiliated with them, just a fan. I'll link to it in the description below, but place the block ID at the very beginning of your code and it will apply it to just that scrolling marquee. Let's go ahead and select save. I'll hop into edit mode and show you. If we add one more, we'll just add the built-in one right there to the site. Notice how those changes are not happening to that second one. They're only happening to the first. All right, let's select save. And I'll show you if we remove that block ID, then the changes will happen to both of them. If we add the block ID, it'll only happen to the one we're isolating. Alrighty, those codes and the link to that particular Chrome extension are listed in the description below, but whatever you decide to change, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Those codes we just worked with are listed in the description below. And let me know in the comments, what are you planning on customizing with this scrolling marquee? Are you gonna change the font or the color? Or is there something else that I need to teach you? Let me know in the comments if you've got a fun idea for how to customize this content block and I'll see what kind of codes I can create for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.